Hey everybody, gonna talk to you today a little bit about the new Aegisflow Shima Utility Nodes update that we have just uh, released today. Uh, in any case, uh, let's get right into it. We're gonna start off by going over quickly here the uh, quality of life improvement of con uh, contrast uh, auto sensing in text. So if you've been using Comfy UI for a while, you might have remembered that this is what, you know, uh, Light Graph, the system behind all this, thinks yellow is, uh, which it is absolutely not. Uh, you'll also note that this gray text is always gray, right? And that's why all the nodes look like these, you know, lame colors, right? So in any case, uh, what we've done is we now have a, an extension where we have extended uh, the system to auto sense the uh, value or the luminance value of these and upon doing so apply the proper color so that you can actually read it right so uh, that means that now you have a full spectrum of color including and we'll just go ahead and throw it in there because why not actual yellow Right, so this should open up quite a few uh, avenues for you guys as far as uh, making more accessible workflows that are a little bit easier to understand, and also allow everything to stop looking like this drab, you know, faded garbage. So in any case, um, yeah, new color choices. Uh, hope everybody really enjoys that. Uh, we've been working on that for a little while here. Uh, second thing that we have is that if you are an Aegisflow Shima user, I'm just going to kind of go up here real quick, we now support auto grouping. So when you place uh, template nodes, uh, you will now, uh, whether it's from Shima or your own templates, uh, it will go ahead and auto group them and it will name them, you know, what's appropriate for that particular thing that you've placed. So uh, let's go ahead and kill those off because we're not going to really be using those right now. And we're going to remove these. There we go. All right. Uh, thirdly, uh, let's kind of go in. We have our little workflow here. It's a very useless workflow. Nothing really going on. We just, you know, have our loader. We have uh, an image loader here from URL. Uh, we're putting in a VAE and encoding this as the uh, latent image, and that's just to satisfy it. We have a prompt, a sad Obi-Wan Kenobi, and then we load that all into our sampler here, and we send it out to what is called the multipasser. The multipasser is just a bus node that uh, you can easily use to target things with um, anything uh, everywhere, or uh, uh, use everywhere nodes from Chris uh, Gorringe. Um, and in any case, when you kind of stack these all up, right, um, what ends up happening is you get um, this super laser effect, right? And it's kind of cool because it allows you to kind of gang everything up and pop it all off in one nice big laser, right? And that is going over to another multi-pass node where we can then pop things off and use it in another module, right? It basically is there to prevent, you know, this, right? It's kind of cool looking and all, but it does get kind of distracting. And so, uh, you know, if you if you want a cleaner uh, look when you have your nodes turned on, like we have them here, uh, you're going to want to uh, maybe utilize this technique. Uh, third thing that we have is our passers themselves, just to let you know uh, kind of what those are doing. Uh, we have an image passer, a model passer, a latent passer, a VAE passer, and the clip passer. And what these uh, all do is uh, they take any input image, whether it's wired or unwired. You know, I could go in here and do a, a load image node. Come on. There we go. No, well, that's all right. Whatever. Um, and I can wire things up directly, but I can also target them with the Use Everywhere nodes. The important thing about these is that they fill up 
slots that may be uh, currently in your workflows might be unoccupied but required because what will often happen is that there's things out there that basically try to fix those uh, inconsistencies, you know, like loose, unresolved required nodes. And so the end result is that your workflow breaks because something gets connected to it automatically that you really didn't probably want it to be connected to. So these allow you to sort of plug that hole uh, and keep your workflows from breaking. Uh, last thing over here is that we have these three nodes from the Ally, uh, but I have extended them to include the ability to bypass them with a switch. And that's about it. Thank you very much, and we look forward to uh, serving you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.